Once you've gone through the process of choosing a HD TV, the last thing you're probably interested in having to go through is a whole new research process for your home theater system. Your TV is only the first part of your HD TV setup. Getting a good sound system is really the icing on the cake. And thank goodness, Samsung's already baked the cake, so you don't have to build the whole thing from scratch. It's called Home Theater in a Box, and this one is the TQ85. It is a perfectly matched home theater system for your Samsung HD TV. Now, many retailers offer it as a bundle when you purchase your display, so I encourage you to consider that option. Now, here's the key components. First up, it is an upconverting DVD player, so you can take all of your old DVDs, play them back in greater resolution on your new TV. And it's a 5.1 surround sound system, so you get full surround sound. Now, some of the key features include the fact it has something called HDMI switching, which is really important. What it does is it allows you to take an HDMI cable from your set-top box or your satellite receiver and plug it in to the home theater in a box. Now, this is going to give you full 5.1 surround sound from all your over-the-air high-definition sources. And it's very simple to set up. The setup is just a few cables and you're plugged in. And cosmetically speaking, it's a perfect match to your existing TV. It has these nice tower speakers, subwoofer, the complete setup is here. And it has one really interesting extra feature. Right down here we see something called a USB host connection. This is just like on our computer and it does very similar things to our computer's USB port. What it does is it allows us to plug different peripherals in to the home theater in a box. For example, you could plug your digital camera in, or I've got one of Samsung's new K5 MP3 players here. I can plug the MP3 player in as well. Once I've done that, any data that I have on either my digital camera or my MP3 player is now available to my home theater in a box. So if it's music, I can listen to it on my surround sound system. If it's images, I can see it on my high definition TV. Now this is really cool. On the home theater in a box remote, we've got a new navigation button. We've got USB, which allows us to choose as a source our USB device. So I just hit the USB button and it switches sources for me. And now what happens is it downloads all the information from my MP3 player. It takes a few seconds for it to do it, but once it's up and running, I can listen to music on my surround sound system that's coming off of my MP3 player. And this is perfect for parties or in your home where you've got a group of people together. All your best tunes are on your MP3 player. At that point there, you can listen to your music on the best sound system you have in your house, which is usually the surround sound system for your home theater. There it is, up and running, so now we can hear the music. We're ready to party a bit. And if I want, because we have other media types that we can carry on an MP3 player, I can select, for instance, to view a slideshow just by navigating my way over to the photo area. And if you have some pictures on your MP3 player, you can show them to the whole crowd. And similarly, if you've got a whole bunch of photos on your digital camera, you can have a slideshow playing right back off of your digital camera. It's a really creative use of the technology. Once you're done, we just navigate our way back through our sources, back to our HDMI signal. Our director Kim recently got a Samsung LCD TV and she received a home theater in a box bundled with hers. Now she was thrilled with how it replaced her whole sound system. She was able to downsize for a change. She turfed out her old CD changer, an amp and a tuner and replaced it with one good looking box that did everything. It looked great, it sounded great, the home theater in a box. Easy to set up, it completed her. Well, I mean, it completed her system. Want more information about the items we highlight on the show? Then make sure you drop by our website at dototech.com. You'll find details about the products we cover, episode descriptions, and lots of cool features.